Welcome back, awesome Ashley fans and subscribers. The last of the uh, water marching figures I've got to review. This is, I believe, Zhu Wu. Um, I am missing two figures from the line, two of these soldiers. There's three from soldiers, I've got one. Uh, so hopefully I'll track them down in the future. And there are four horses, different colours. I've got one. Um, I may look for another horse in the future. So this is Zhu Wu. Someone can correct me on pronunciation. I hope. Um, looks more like a cleric, but it does come with some swords, it appears. Um, on the back shows you the figure. There's a couple of swords up there, some spare hands. Looks pretty cool. Let's open them up and have a look. So as with all these water margin figures, it comes with this really awesome looking base. A, I'm assuming a name stone, maybe. Quite rubber at the top. That just fits in very easily like thus, and you can put them on the pegs. Uh, a name, oh, I've got two cards in here. Now I'm slightly baffled. Okay, are they the same? They are not the same. So, because my wife is very shy and she won't come on camera, I'm going to pause this and ask her about the other cards and the other names. So, back in a second. Okay, I am back. So, uh, this is Shu Jin. Not sure who he is or why that card's in there. Maybe we can make him out of uh, this... Zhu Wu here, I don't know, but I have noticed there are two bags of hands. Maybe one's left and one's right. Uh, yes, we can make the other guy. His head is here. How cool is that? So let's see uh, the hands. We've got... Are these just left and right, or are they mixed bags? Let me have a look and see. So this is a uh, right hand, left hand, left hand... Right, 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 left, 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 right. Those are matching, I believe. Yep, um, this one could be the same. So um, I've got double here. Let's have a look. So I've got, got that hand already, got that hand already, got that hand. Now that one's, you've yeah, got that hand already, yeah. I've got two sets of the same hands, which I don't mind because having spare hands is always great for your customs and whatnot. So that means I got one, two, three, four. I got uh, eight sets of hands, excluding the hands he comes with, which are just fists. Okay, so we can make the other character from, well, from him. So let's see. So. Um, weapons, he comes with this rather nice sword and sheath. So the sword looks a bit small for that actual sheath. I think a bigger sword would be nice, but never mind. A bit narrow, I should say. We've got oh, another one, too, even better. And we have here a aha, spear or two-edged spear with this sort of weapon here, interesting, no other weapons in there, then with the figure himself, again these figures are generally a touch on the large size of 118, but he does look pretty damn cool, more of a cleric look, And it appears that his ankle articulation is not great for standing him up out of the box. Let's have a look now. Okay, there he goes. Looks like a nice sort of cleric, put his head down a little bit. There, looks better. Um, so he has his typical left and right. He has a up, down, no side to side. Shoulders. Well, if it doesn't pop out, he'll get over the 180, which is fantastic. 
elbows on these ones with these uh clothes is generally not good so he won't even get 90 degrees his hands are quite tiny these fists here hands have this flexation on both sides he does have his trunk twist separate to his clothes which is nice and a waist twist his legs won't go out at all or forward and back as much inside this sort of a uh, close here but that can come off uh, as can loads of things face sculpt is really nice on that face there uh, let's take that part off let's take them apart okay interesting Ah, what's interesting here is that that dress part is one part with his body unless it comes through the, I'll tell a lie it pops out just through here quite easily so that was a quite smart of them um, okay so if I put him back together again that way he goes on or that way should be that way But he looks kind of funny because he's got skinny legs without his uh, clothes section. And also, here the guy is shirtless. We can't get shirtless. And he won't get a tight enough connection with his waist to his pelvis. But it's good that you can take the clothes off quite easily. Looks good, big feet. Okay, so... We have the trunk, we have waist turn, but the waist pin doesn't, it looks like it's slightly too big, and so he can't get tight enough, or rather far enough, you get this big gap into the body. But you can actually fix that yourself with just a knife, patient, and a steady hand, very steady hand, you want to ruin your nice action figure. Head can come off, easy to swap the head around with the other head. So easy. There we go. And this sculpt's nice, looks rather cool as well. But with that body looking strange with his uh, legs, looks a bit unusual. Okay, so articulation on the legs. He has got, look at that. Full splits really easily forwards. That was fantastic. Forwards is good. He gets over flat. Backwards will go to the side slightly. But he can get a full split, so slight angle on the legs. Very, very good. I'm impressed. Um, that's making that's tempting me even more so to shave off this peg here slightly more, or to I don't want to drill in. If I drill in, I've got a, I risk breaking this peg joint here into his uh, trunk now interestingly his trunk pin does move right to left forwards backwards but the sculpt prevents him from getting that m m uh, motion only the turn so yeah i am tempted to shave this off gradually Uh, bit by bit so he fits in you could go down on this a fair bit not too much and you really struggle to get that to pop back in again but the articulation on his lower legs is great now their system is pretty cool they've got this movable cup inside the hip joint which goes into this ball peg on the hip so you can get a good range of motion if the sculpt doesn't get in the way, and like here you can see, fantastic. You can go all out, papau. 
and the Taekwondo for the, for the country, for the Olympics. A great thing, it's just a shame that when you pop this out, that is not the best looking underneath. Um, I actually prefer this head, even in this mode here, it looks pretty cool. But this one is far more sort of official looking with his little sort of goatee and the sort of trestles hanging off his, his hat there. Both are pretty cool. But again, these feet aren't keen on going forwards, so they have to stand up. But that's why he's got a base, I guess. Okay, that's better. So size-wise, if I compare him to Wu Song, who I reviewed uh, shortly, not a uh, short time ago, who is absolutely huge. Wu Song is still visibly taller because this guy's hat almost evens it out. So these figures are generally bigger than most 118 scale. So I use um, I use Hush, which is quite a short figure from this is from the uh, DC is it Multiverse, I think. You can see that Hush is quite short in comparison. But they can scale together still. Very, very nice looking figure again. So I think uh, Z and Y Productions are getting better and better with each wave of figures they release. And they do have a chess set coming out in the future. I don't know if it's an articulated figures chess set. But wouldn't that be great if it's 118 scale articulated figures chess set? That would be awesome. Um, and that looks pretty cool with the sort of rushes and stuff. Uh, and reads on the actual chess board sort of atmospheric and again it's for the water margin hence why the rushes and reads on there great looking figure um he will hold the sword well can tell by the handle already shame is not painting that sword should be broader and the uh slot here bigger to accommodate the broader sword but it still looks pretty well um there are pegs on this but there are no holes for that to peg into so I'm not sure where that goes into there's nothing on his uh, belt thing here on his back there's nothing on oh, this is nothing I could take that off here still nothing so I can't see any holes where those are gonna peg into but it's got them on both sides maybe I'm just imagining that um, hands are quite small in this one so the other ones the hands are quite big nice looking figure um, but I think I prefer the couple of I, the other two that I reviewed uh, recently particularly this Wu Song guy because he's just <laughs> so intimidating you know okay great figures again I'm glad that we've got someone who's making these sorts of uh, historical, not historical, uh, legend, legendary, I should say, characters from Chinese folklore and so forth. It's great to have them in 118 scale. Even if they are on a touch on a large side, it's still great to have them in accessories. And all the hands you get as well are fantastic. Okay, this is Awesome Match Toys signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more Awesome Match Toys videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting, and please click on the notification icon to stay up to date, letters, news, reviews, etc. Okay? Bye bye.